Welcome Crest fans to another weekly news update. My name is Tony and I'm bringing you this week's update from the trenches of the Death Star. Now I have to say, even though I've trained myself to overcome motion sickness in the VR, and I have a video showing you how you can do that if you too suffer from motion sickness, I'll link to that video in the description below. Even with that, I'm still feeling a little bit sick <laughs> in this environment. So we've have another jam-packed week of Oculus Quest news. In this video, I'll cover the latest and greatest from SideQuest, from the Oculus Quest store, and some other gems that I have come across this week, including one piece of news which I'm very excited about, and I'll give you a clue as to what that is using my home environment. So join me as we go through the Oculus Quest news this week, and subscribe to my channel if you want to be kept up to date with the latest in Oculus Quest. So this week we saw a video from Dr. Beef and Baggy G announcing a port. Now they didn't exactly say what this port is, but judging by the music and the particular style of the logo, I'm guessing this has something to do with Doom. They say it's coming in 2020. I'm going to keep such a close eye on this one and I cannot wait. Now, just like the other Quake and Half-Life ports these guys have brought us in the past, you'll be able to sideload this Doom port using SideQuest. And I hear this Doom port will be running on a modern engine, something like LZ Doom or GZ Doom, something like that, which will improve the graphics and of course allow for mods which will hopefully include support for Brutal Doom. So great news, really can't wait for this one. And speaking of the Half-Life mod, there has been a new update, version 1.4.3, that you can now download from SideQuest. It includes a flashlight model, which feels better to control, some new translucent hand models, and the ability to quickly double tap jump to trigger a crouch jump, as well as some other bug fixes. Next, let's check in with SideQuest to see what new titles have dropped in this week. And the first one that caught my eye was Legendary Tales. Now, this is a dungeon crawling action RPG, and it's only a demo at the moment, but it has some really cool elements. The sword fighting works reasonably well. It also gives you a nice range of weapons to choose from. And it has those old school stats and inventory systems that as an RPG fan, I really enjoy. Now it's just an early demo, so there are lots that you cannot do at this stage and quite a bit of tweaking to be made, but it's certainly worth your time if you enjoy these types of games like I do. Next up we have Deadshot Heroes. I managed to have a go at this one too. Now this game is a multiplayer game where you have to destroy the other team's base. It supports multiplayer 3 versus 3 and it's cross-platform with Steam. VR and non-VR PC. You can select from up to 12 different heroes, all with different abilities, and you can play with bots too. There's a lot of features with this one, uh, achievements, skins, unlockables, online rankings, and much more. Now, when I tried to play it online, I couldn't find other players uh, playing at the same time, so I just played with bots, and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun, and I can imagine if you're playing with friends online, it's going to be even more enjoyable. If you're looking for some friends to play with, one option would be using Questeroid, which is a friend finding service, which allows you to find friends based on country, games, devices, and so on. So as far as I'm aware about the backstory with this game, the authors did try to get this in, in the Oculus Store, but of course, as we know, the Oculus Store has quite strict standards and it didn't quite make it. So they're making it available to us for free on SideQuest. And as far as I'm aware, they're continuing to update it and continuing to try to get a final version in the Quest Store. So I wish them all the best with that. And finally, we have Counterfight, which is a game where you have to cook and serve customers against the clock. It's $7.99 US dollars. And whilst there are no reviews as of yet, and I haven't had the opportunity to play this one either, it still looks like it could be a lot of fun.
It actually reminds me of a free web VR game I played in an earlier video, which I'll link in the description below, called Barista Express. So if you're in a mood for a game like this, but don't necessarily have the money to spend, then Barista Express might be a nice alternative. Now that's a bit of it from SideQuest. Now I checked out another game this week that you have to sideload, but you can't get it from SideQuest, you have to get it from Discord. I'll link a video to how to do that in the description below. Now this game is called Gladius, it's an arena fighting game, much like Gorn, and I have to say, it's been one of the best free games I have played to date on the Quest. If you like these types of games, it's definitely worth downloading. It has some great physics and fighting mechanics, and it gives you a great workout at the same time. Now the next bit of news is a bit random, but I found this request for people to playtest a mysterious shooting game, and I was intrigued. So I did sign up for this. Um, they will contact me, hopefully, to talk about playtesting, and can't wait to see what comes of this one. So I've included a link to this in the description below in case you're interested. Next to the official Oculus Store, we see Ghost Giant has now been released, which I covered in my last video, and a new game called O-Shape. Now this game has currently 37 ratings, four and a half stars, so it seems like it's a decent game. And as you see in the video, you move your body to the rhythm of music and matching the shapes in the walls so you can pass through. I haven't played it, it looks like a lot of fun, and if you're into rhythm games, then you might want to check this one out. We also see Rec Room has added a new update. This update adds the new quest called Curse of the Crimson Cauldron. Now I've completed Curse of the Crimson Cauldron on PC VR many times. It's a great little quest and totally worth assembling your band of heroes once again for another adventure. Eighteen. We also see an update to Arizona Sunshine. This update adds the Undead Valley map. This gives you a whole new environment in which to fight off zombies in horde mode with your mates. So that's about it for the Oculus Quest Store. Another fairly dry week. Let's hope it picks up throughout the year and we see more new titles. Now that's about it from me. I'll leave you with the process of installing those home environments that you saw at the beginning. Remember, if you did like this video, want to see more of it, do hit that subscribe and like button, and I'll catch you next time.